Hey, how's it guys? In this BigQuery tutorial, we'll learn how to add, update, and delete data set and table labels with BigQuery API in Python. So if you don't know what a BigQuery label is, a BigQuery label is a feature to help you to organize your BigQuery resources. You can add labels to your data sets, tables, and views. And after labeling your resources, you can uh, search for them based on the uh, label values. Now let's look at a couple examples on how we can manage BigQuery labels using Python. So here in my BigQuery console, under my staging data set, I have a table called Azure. And I want to add two labels to the uh, table itself to help me to identify the table type and category. Now going into my uh, VS Code editor. So here I'm importing the uh, Python libraries. So for this Python script, I'm importing the OS module. And from google.cloud library, I'm importing the uh, BigQuery module. And here's the code to create my BigQuery client instance. So for this exercise, I'll be covering uh, three examples. For the first example, I'm going to show you how to add labels. Then I'm going to show you how to update and append labels. And finally, I'm going to show you how to uh, delete the labels. All right, so let's go back to the top. All right, so if we look at uh, these two lines, I'm creating my uh, staging data set reference. Then based on the uh, data set reference object, I'm providing the table that I want to uh, create my table reference to. In this case, I'm going to name the uh, object as table reference. Now to create the labels, we're going to create a dictionary. So here I'm going to create a dictionary called labels. Inside the uh, labels dictionary, I'm going to provide uh, two key value pairs. The first item is going to be the table type. In this case, I'm going to uh, name the table type social media since I got the uh, record set from Reader's website. And for the second key, I'm going to call that as category to help me identify the table uh, purpose. I'm going to provide the value cloud computing. And once I create the labels, I can reference the client's library dot get table. So here I'm going to insert my uh, Azure table reference object to turn the address table. And I'm going to name the output as Azure table here. And once I construct my Azure table reference, I can reference the Azure table object that are labels. And here the labels is an attribute. So we're going to uh, update the attribute value by providing the labels dictionary. Now if I go ahead and run this code block here, Oh, I forgot to uh, create my client instance first. So here, let me go ahead and run uh, line one to line 12. And that creates my uh, BigQuery client instance, as well as creating my uh, Azure table reference. By this point, I haven't actually linked to my address table in my BigQuery project. So it's not until you actually use the get table method to connect to the address table in the uh, BigQuery project. Right, so here I can update the uh, address tables label. Now there's one more step that we need to do to reflex the change. So if we want to actually add the uh, labels to the address table. So here if I refresh my page. If I go to the details tab, you should see that the labels are not added yet. And to make the API code to uh, make the change, so here I want to reference the client's object dot update table. And we're going to provide the uh, table reference first. And it's going to be Azure table, followed by the uh, category that I want to uh, make a change to. And it's going to be labels. And make sure that you insert list for the field type or the uh, categories type. Now if I run line 21, if I go back to my uh, BigQuery console, refresh the page. I now have the uh, labels for type and category. Now let's say I want to change the uh, labels value. In this case, I'm going to create a new dictionary object. And I'll name this as new labels. Now let's say I want to update the uh, label type from uh, social media to software. I also want to add a new label item. And let's name uh, 
the keyers uh, year. And for the year value, I'm going to assign uh, 2022nd to indicate that when this table is created. Now to update the uh, labels to my address table. So here in line 21, uh, I should have uh, create the table object. But it's okay, uh, let's do that here. And I'll name the output table. Right, so we know uh, this line here is going to grab the uh, address table reference. And I can reference the labels attribute. And I'll provide the new labels value. Then I'll update the table using the client the update table method. And I'll provide the new table object. And for the uh, field type, I'm just going to be labels. Now, if I go ahead and run on step two, uh, table is not defined. Let me take a look. Oh, so this should be. Oh, sorry, I signed a Y. Uh, because we need to uh, reconnect to the address table. That's okay. All right, so here let me name this to a uh, table. And for the update table method, we don't actually need to return anything. So this should be uh, this. So here I'm uh, reconnecting to my address table. Then I'm reassigning the labels attribute with the uh, new labels dictionary. And finally, here I'm updating the table itself. Now let me go ahead and run code block for step two. Now if I go back to my BigQuery console, refresh the page. Now under the uh, labels section, I now have three categories and the updated uh, type value, which is going to be software. Now if you want to remove the labels, so here I actually uh, combine example one and example two into uh, one single step. So this will be example two. Now if you want to delete uh, the tables label. So I'll grab the get table method to uh, recreate my table object. Then here I'm going to grab the uh, labels value. And I can get the uh, labels pairs by referencing the table object that are labels. All right, so if I uh, print the labels object, it should now give me a dictionary with these three keys. Year, category, and type. Now to uh, remove the labels, we just need to update the values to none for every single uh, key value. And I can uh, use a dictionary uh, comprehension. So here I can say for key and value in labels dot items. We know this code here is going to return the uh, key value pairs of all the uh, items in the labels dictionary. So here we just need to set the uh, value to none when we construct the uh, new dictionary object. So if I create the labels object again, and if I print the labels object, we should now have all the values uh, is updated to none for all the keys. And here I need to uh, update the labels attribute of the table object. Then we can update the table itself. All right, so if I go back to my BigQuery console, refresh the page. And if I go to the details tab, I can see that uh, the labels is now gone. Alright, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, see you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.